I absolutely love plants because I really feel like they've got the power to completely transform the space. Hi, I'm Rose. Hi, I'm Caro. We're Roco and this is our masterclass. Design for us is about helping people to feel connected to nature in their everyday lives, to help them live more productively and more creatively. Um, and our design practice is really about going out, finding the best possible, really exciting and interesting plants. And then it's our job to go in, find some beautiful pots and style them in position, either in a residential or a commercial space. So I'm not trained in horticulture. I've learned everything just through trying things out and I suppose observing plants, seeing how they respond to the care I give them. Um, so you definitely don't have to be professionally trained to experiment with plants. There are two aesthetics that I feel really inspired by. The first is this really overgrown look where it almost looks like the space has been reclaimed by nature. It's this kind of almost like post-apocalyptic advance of greenery, which we love. Um, and I think if you want to create a look like that, you can go for vines and plants which you know are going to grow quite quickly, um, the sort of plants you can train within a space, so perhaps you could train them up a wall or you could choose trailing plants which you can kind of, over time, you can position them in ways that will, you know, you might want them to go off in one direction and really look like they've taken over. Um, so that look we really love. So we also take inspiration from a more minimal style of planting where we often look at Japanese gardens. These are amazing because they take one single tree and make it look incredible in a space where you don't necessarily have to put loads of different plants around it. And the plant suddenly has much more purpose and you're drawn to the different leaf shapes and the way that it sits in the space. So I think it's important to look at the space and just figure out you know, how much space do you actually have to play with. If you've got a big space and you think, yeah, I can really go wild and I can buy loads of plants and really make it look like a jungle, then amazing, do it. But if you actually don't have that much space to play with, you might want to think about what's that one plant I can bring in that's going to provide all the impact I need but not take up my valuable living space. I think a lot of it has to do with the pots. I, th I don't think a lot of the plants have changed that much. I think it's more our, the way that we are approaching how they can be presented or what kind of pots they're in because we can take that plant out and put it in a really beautiful terracotta or a lovely sculptural ceramic or concrete pot and it completely changes the way that you perceive that plant and the way you interact with it. I think that it's that combination of good design with the plants and that's what makes it, gives it that magic formula. I don't think there ever is a right. I think with, with plants it's just the way you feel about them and suddenly something works for you and something works with the furniture that you've got and the colours and it's, it's really personal. Design is a, a really personal thing and I think that it's not hard to do. It's just something that you have to have the confidence from within yourself to know that those things work and, and, and then it's great. So for me, good design is making it, the plants look natural and like they're in a position that they're, they should be. It's sort of this feeling of them having a purpose in a space. If you're working to a bit of a budget, it can be a little bit daunting thinking about how you're going to fill your space with lots of plants. So one easy way to do that is to go along to a plant swap where you can take cuttings and swap different plants and see how those different plants can work in your space. I think that for, for me and for a lot of people, plants sort of symbolise things like love and, and, and commitment to a space. So it's, they almost bring this sense of belonging and they're something that you invest in, obviously to make a space look beautiful, but it's also about really committing to this space and um, creating a sort of a garden that you can really tend to and, and nourish. 
We hope this masterclass helps you to be more bold, more brave with your designs. Don't worry about making mistakes, you'll learn loads along the way, just have fun with it.